Hi guys, welcome back to Stranger Times. So, we've all seen the photos from the video camera footage that allegedly show the ghost of Fabioli Rodriguez, who passed away in 2018 while in the care of her mother's boyfriend. So, we all know how the story goes with the items of toys going missing from the two grave sites, Fabiola's and another family's, whose son had passed away and whose killer was still on the run. So this family, with the dead son, had placed a video camera with night vision on a grave headstone overlooking their son's grave site. Now, a few things bother me about the pictures and the video images. So I've played about with the pictures and have noted a few oddities within them. Every ghost picture I have seen, the ghost is 99% transparent in nature. But these images to me seem extremely solid. The detail in the images are extremely detailed and to me over detailed. For instance, you can see each trouser, trouser leg, you can see the bulk of the nappy and the shape of the nappy. Her arms are extremely detailed in that basically you can see virtually every limb so clear. You can even see her hands and the hair. There is no distortion in any frame of the image. Also, as she comes close to the grave site where the lights are, you can see the lights on the ground around the grave clearly and you can see that these lights are shining but dimly. And you can clearly see reflection on the kids clothes. I've also played about and enhanced the best I could out of a picture where she is supposedly walking away with what the families believe to be the son who was killed and whose killer is still on the loose. But I see nothing in this picture. I see nothing at all. It seems to be pictureless. And a few other things that don't add up for me. They say that the little girl was taking care of the son and taking him to heaven. A bit odd as the family didn't know each other as far as we know. And that they come to that conclusion that Faviola was there to take their son to heaven just doesn't make sense to me. Also, some other news sites state that Faviola was seen in the images at her gravesite, but in fact it wasn't her gravesite, it was the gravesite of the other family's dead son. So why would you record someone else's gravesite if you intended to capture your son's gravesite intended to see who was stealing the items. Again, you know, things getting mixed up. And last but not least, where is the video footage? The original footage would be so clear and so more detailed. As the images show now how detailed they are, I assume that they uploaded the footage from the video camera to PC and then to a phone and then finally, a few pictures taken from that screen off another phone and then presented to us all as we see them now. In my opinion, we need to see the original video footage and I would say that would answer a lot of my questions. It's a very, very sad story and my heart goes out to all families involved. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel guys and smash that like button. See you soon.